Hi everybody, today in front of me I have a uh, Realme GT2 Pro smartphone and in this video I would like to show you the top three apps that you can possibly get on this device. So let's go ahead uh, and start. So first app that I would like to show you guys is called WTMP and it stands for Who Touched My Phone. That's the app that allows you to see if somebody has tried to unlock your phone or did unlock your phone by taking the imperceptible photos uh, on this selfie camera. So let's go ahead and open this app. It will greet us with uh, some kind of instructions and uh, like general informations on what is, uh, this app is capable of. In order to turn it on, just tap on this power button, uh, allow the applications and access to the camera on this device. So while using the app, and all that is left to do is to give it the permit usage access. And after that, as you can see, the app is successfully activated. Uh, you can tell that by the fact that this screen, uh, this uh, power button turned green and this two white lines appeared. So let me just show you how it works real quick. So once the app is activated, if somebody tries to take your phone, tries to unlock it, couldn't handle it for some reason, and then tries to get it back to normal, once you pick up the phone yourself and go to this app, you'll see that there are two uh, entries. One saying that device not unlocked with the picture from the selfie camera. So if uh, somebody were to try to unlock the phone, you will see his picture. And the entry that says that device is unlocked, for example, by yourself, or if the person who tried to gain an unauthorized access was able to unlock the phone. So that's how this app works. If you are concerned about uh, the privacy of your smartphone, we highly recommend that you go ahead and get this app yourself. Next, uh, we wanted to, I wanted to show you the app that is called Electron. This app that allows you to gather and see some of the information about your uh, battery of your device. So uh, while first launching the app, you will be also greeted with some of the introduction information and you will be required to calibrate uh, the application once firstly using it so it will get all the data it needs. Here you can see uh, uh, well all kinds of uh, useful and handy data for example the nominal battery capacity, the current battery temperature, the battery type, voltage and etc. Uh, once you'll uh, charge your phone the first time after installing this app it will also provide you with the charging information. The app has very modest settings that you can alter. For example, you can either uh, turn on or turn off the dark mode, change the temperature units from Celsius to Fahrenheit to Kelvin. I'll just uh, stick with Celsius. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the election app. The last app is called Caffeine. And in prior of me showing it to you, let me demonstrate one thing. So once you go to the settings, display and brightness here at the auto screen off function you can see that the maximum value that you can set is 30 minutes so the caffeine app that's the app that allows you to set it to never so all that you need to do is to open this app make sure that the timeout setting is set to infinite and as long as the caffeine app is running uh, your screen will not go to sleep automatically at all so that was it for this video guys uh, if you found it helpful somehow Please uh, leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.